Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today, uh, we'll simply we'll design this bracket in Katia, and then uh, we will uh, do some analysis in Ansys for this one. So it's a very simple design. There is nothing complications going on here. So yeah, let's begin with the design. All right. So let's start with the mechanical design part design. Let's call this bracket okay now let's quickly do some sketching so the first sketch that we will be doing is you can select any plane let's start from yz let's go for a sketch select a rectangle draw a rectangle like this and let's quickly uh, one circle so a circle right over here all right and then mirror that circle from the vertical axis now let's define our rectangle first so select these two edges right click allow symmetry and select the vertical axis okay now give this a dimension so let's go for 105 Let's give it 44, right? And let's give this circle a dia of 15. And center of the circle is at a distance from vertical axis for about 30 mm. Now for the next dimension, let's move it a bit down and then uh, select the top edge and from horizontal axis it should be 30. Now since our sketch is fully defined we'll exit this and we'll go for padding. We can select any dimension but uh, for this one we will go for 17. All right. Now let's do another sketch for the model. So for this one, we will utilize position the sketch on the XY plane and we will swap both of this and reverse Y. Okay. And then we can take our profile or else we can do is let's go for a rectangle like this and then let's select a line from here like this select a circle on the vertical axis as the center draw a circle like this and Let's go for coincidence. Okay. Now it's time to give dimensions. So select these two. Go for coincidence. Okay. Select this two. Constraint, right click, allow symmetry, and select the vertical axis. <coughs> select this line and mirror it. From the vertical axis all right let's give some dimensions so for the circle we'll give it a 40 mm dia from the center of the circle to this edge should be 120 and uh, from here to here should be 100 it should be 110 okay let's delete that we will use the other command so let's select this and select this edge go for coincidence now that's perfectly aligned and uh, the next 
thing is select this right click vertical measure 75 or select or axis and simply draw from the point where the tangent is happening just a word, uh, horizontal line and select trim and remove the upper part of the circle like that also we have to trim this inside line and then exit the workbench I have to change the sketch support because that's not the uh, actual support so in, we'll take this okay now it's perfect we'll select our sketch go for padding and for the padding let's give it a 15 mm reverse direction okay that looks fine and now we will do some simple sketch on this plane so go for normal sketch select circle uh, center as the horizontal axis we will select uh, the circle and this edge go for coincidence now select the circle and offset and the offset type 5 mm right so then exit the workbench go for a padding so let's go for 50 in that direction and 30 in opposite direction okay it's perfect now let's create a profile on this face so sketch select a rectangle rectangle something like this and go for constraint define this can define that as well. distance of this from this axis and think distance of this from this axis this could be 22 the 15 sorry that should not be 115 one five is enough and then 17 yeah then exit the workbench go for a pocket up to next okay so we have created a slot like that and then we'll do some holes on this face so select it go for sketching select a circle like that dimension could be 12 yeah and from the center to this edge should be 11 and let's exit it go for pocket to next okay and then select the pocket go for pattern let's increase it to 30 and it should be y axis okay select the pocket again go for rectangular pattern this time make the spacing minus 30 so it goes in the other direction like that so very quickly we have designed our bracket and yeah that's it for this tutorial I will see you guys in the next tutorial with the answers. Thank you so much. Peace out.